Hey Stitchers, your girl Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel on social where it's totally cool to be obsessed with sewing. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you quickly how to go about installing eyelets or grommets using the cam snap tool. So if this is something that you might be interested in, please keep on watching. Just before I get into my quick demonstration, let me share with you what I'm wearing. So for today's video, your girl is rocking the Love Notions Melody Dolman, which looks like this. And I made it, you guys, I think, as my first Love Notions make way back in like, I want to say 2020 or 2021, something of the sort. I had never tried Love Notions patterns before, and I embarked on trying this top, which is the Melody Dolman top. I have since become a Love Notions ambassador, so if you want to give any of the Love Notion patterns a go, be sure to go ahead and use my code, which at the moment is on social. Now, my code changes every quarter, but I'll be sure to go ahead and post the code down in the description box so that you can utilize it for your purchase. Now that you guys know what I'm wearing, let's get started on today's video. For this tutorial, you are going to need the following supplies. So you're going to need a cam snap tool, I have the plier version, which looks like this. You're also going to need the respective dies. I am going to be using 10 millimeter grommets, and so I have the 10 millimeter dies. Now you're also going to need something to cut holes in your fabric. I do have the top punch, which looks like this, and it also comes from Cam Snap Tools, but not for the life of me can I find my bottom punch. And so I'm not going to be using my punch for today's tutorial. You guys, the devil is a liar and I will not have him defeat me today. So instead, I'm just going to use my trusted scissors to cut small holes where my grommets will go. At the end of this tutorial, you should have grommets that look just like this. So let's show you how to get these installed. The first thing you want to do is to mark where your grommets will go. Now, I have gone ahead and put some markings on my bodice. I have marked three eighths of, of an inch from my top bodice, three eighths of an inch from my bottom bodice, and three eighths of an inch from my side seam. I then went ahead and used my trusty button gauge, which looks like this, and I simply lined it up with my bottom marking and my top marking right here. And then I can mark in where my grommets need to go so i'm just using my tackle liner and placing some horizontal lines where my grommets will need to go just like so now if i could find my die piece to punch then i would punch three holes one in the middle of my bodice one at my upper marking and one at my lower marking but since i don't have my um grommet tool i can't find it i'm just going to use the eyelet Place it where I want my grommet to go and I'm just going to draw in some small circles like so. Now that I have my circles drawn in, I'm going to use my tiny scissors and just snip them out. These are what my circles look like. So I'm just going to bend my fabric right in the center of my circle, like so. I'm gonna use my tiny scissors and I'm just going to put a snip right in like a crescent shape so that I can create a hole for my grommet. Again, if you have the punch and the correct um, punch base, then this is so much easier to do. You don't want to cut your hole if you're going to use scissors too big because then your grommet will be loose and your fabric will fray along the outside. So I've done this hole and I have my bodice piece right side up and I am going to insert my eyelet, which looks like this. So I'll insert it through the hole that I just cut. Now I am going to have to wiggle this in a little bit again because I did not use the punch tool and I don't want my hole too big because I don't want my fabric to end up fraying or my grommet to be too loose. Now once I have secured my eyelet in, 
I need to have a washer, which looks just like this, that will secure the grommet in place. So from the wrong side of my fabric, I'm going to place my washer over my eyelet, just like so. All right, now that that has been prepared, let's get our tool. So I'm just gonna set up my tool and I'm going to insert the upper piece of my die, which looks like this and has a flat piece. And I'm just going to screw it in to the top of my cam snap tool. The bottom die slips into the bottom piece, just like so. Now our tool is ready to be used. I am going to place the right side of my bodice, which has the eyelet in, over the bottom die. So it goes over just like so. Now it should slip over your die. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up of what it looks like. So this is our grommet over our die. This is our washer piece on top. And now we're simply going to. All right, you guys, this is just a little bit fiddly because I'm trying to demonstrate. So I think I'm going to just press it on my mat. All right, so now that I have my eyelet and my washer in place over my die, I'm simply going to hold it steady and squeeze down on my cam snap tool like this. Once I release, then I have a perfectly installed eyelet like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process for my other two eyelet positions, and then I'll be back to show you what the finished garment looks like. I have completed the process and this is what the back of my bodice now looks like with both sides of my grommets installed. Now I can go ahead and thread through my ribbon or my self fabric tie or something through the back loops so that I can close my center back bodice. So I went ahead and made a self tie so I just need to fasten my bodice back. So I'm going to push it in through the bottom like so. And I'll go down in my second eyelet. And then back up in my third eyelet. Then I'll repeat the process on the opposite side. Oops, I did that wrong. This one should be down. and then back up. Then I need to go ahead and adjust the length of my straps so that they are fairly equal. That's almost right. Then I can just finish it off just like so with a bow. Just it, and this will be our completed bodice back. So there you have it, guys. That was a quick demonstration on how to go about installing eyelets using the Cam Snap tool. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for this tool, but I would 100% recommend that you get it. Now, you can use your Snap tool for both the installation of snaps and eyelets, and I think there are a couple other things that you can use your Snap tool for, but I do only have the heads for the snaps and the eyelets. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and let me know whether any of your projects for 2024 require the installation of snaps. Now, if you have made it this far into my video, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe icon and turn your notifications on so you never miss any of my videos. Subscriptions cost you absolutely nothing, but they do offer you a spot right here in my YouTube sewing community. So that's all I have for you today, guys, and until next time, Stay calm, stay cool, stay safe, and absolutely keep sewing. Peace.